Several families in North Georgia have contacted Channel 3 claiming their pets were wrongfully adopted through a nonprofit animal rescue organization here in Chattanooga. Channel 3's Travis Cummings has been looking into these claims and joins us now in the studio. What can you tell us, Travis? Yes, and we got a lot to tell you. We've received dozens of messages from families and concerned community members about a paw and a prayer animal rescue. Now, it's a registered nonprofit that specializes in small dog and puppy placement, helping to find them homes once they go missing. But these families say their dogs already had a home. He's my family, and um, you know, I was devastated when he was gone. A couple of weeks ago, Mandy Jones says her part dachshund, part Yorkie, Remy, went a little too far as he followed her out of the driveway. I do think he was picked up, yeah. not in our yard, but I do think that someone picked him up. Yeah, but if he hadn't been picked up, he would have come home. He always does. Remy went missing after three weeks of posting flyers and worrying. I got a text um, with a picture um, of a man holding Remy. Uh, just like this, saying that she had been adopted. And um, I knew immediately that it was Remy. The dog had been adopted out of a paw and a prayer animal rescue, a nonprofit that prides itself on finding small dogs and puppies a home. The Jones family got in touch with the founder, Judy Butterfield. She said that the man had adopted him, um, was already attached to Remy, who had, the man had had him for two days. Um, of course, we were attached and Butterfield told them the only way to get Remy back was by paying $450. So they took to Facebook to update the public about the situation. It blew up. Well, uh, we didn't have that kind of money just laying around. So we did a GoFundMe and total strangers helped us get our dog back. Remy's back, but different. He had been neutered and uh, was full of fleas mm. and um, of course traumatized and um, Anyway, he's home today. It's a similar scenario for Chris Hughes and his golden retriever, Parker, who went missing in March while the family was out for his daughter's softball game. Get in a truck and drive through the neighborhood and look for him. Could not find him, so we came back and uh, the neighbor across the road said she thought someone had came and hauled him off. Hughes got a flyer made and shared information on social media. After a Google search, he stumbled upon a paw and a prayer. And there was a dog by the name of Jack that they had posted, which was my, my dog, Parker. Butterfield told Hughes Parker or Jack had been fostered and she would get the contact for the parents, but later told them she had no recollection of the dog at all. She knows who has it, so all I'm asking for is the number who has my dog and I can move on from her to them. Channel 3 paid Butterfield a visit to the address connected to the business to try to better understand her side of the story. She told us her only comment was that there was no comment and that she would be getting the attorney on her board involved. I feel like maybe this is, this is a way for her to line her pockets. I, don't, I just don't want that to happen to somebody else. Now we've asked to speak with Butterfield's attorney so we can better understand how the organization determines if an animal does not belong to someone else before adoption. We'll keep you updated on that. Now the organization is a registered nonprofit organization. We checked with Hamilton County Sheriff's Office to see if any reports have been filed in connection to the allegations. A spokesperson replied to our question saying it didn't sound familiar. For now in the studio, Travis Cummings, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.